what will make a Dajjal such a fitna that would cause so many people to follow him? And what makes him different from the other Dajjals who came before? Well, those who came before, as we said, would say that they were messengers of Allah. We know them as false. However, Dajjal will claim that he is Allah. This is the difference. Now, this is not the first time that people have claimed that they are Allah. We had Sai Baba hmm, in Tamil Nadu for many years. He died a few years back, claiming that he was Allah. He had over 8 million followers in India. One of the presidents of India was among his followers, believing that he was God incarnate. So it's not the first time. 8 million is not a small number. But when Dajjal claims that he is Allah, his claim will supersede all other claims. Because he will bring the proof to people. He will come at a time when people are desperate. Remember, the three years of drought. When people become most desperate for food. When he comes amongst the people. Not the people he's fighting, the forces of the Mahdi. That's different. That's the battlefield. But when he enters into various lands around the earth, and he will go across the earth, he will carry with him, according to the Prophet ﷺ, a mountain of bread and a mountain of meat. Now, you might think, wow, how is that? We don't need to go into how. We don't need to go into how. The fact is, Prophet ﷺ said, he will have with him a mountain of bread and a mountain of meat. At a time when the world is in a state of starvation, the drought, supplies have run out, finished. Without rain, the crops dry up. Food production stopped. People are desperate. And here is this man coming from nowhere. With him, a mountain of bread and a mountain of meat. How will we be at that time? He will also have with him what appears to be gardens from the gardens of paradise and flaming pits from the pits of hell and rivers will follow him wherever he goes. One of the rivers will be white and appear cool, while the other will be liquid fire like lava or liquid metal. This is what he's bringing along with him. The treasures of the earth will come out at his command. He will command the earth to give up its treasures and it will come out. He will enter virtually every city on the earth. And he will take some people, Bedouins from different areas, and say to them, if I resurrected your parents, would you testify that I am your Lord God? And of course, if somebody says to you, I will resurrect your parents. If I resurrect your parents, will you accept me as God? Seeing all of this, that's the final stroke. How many of us would be able to say no? I still wouldn't believe. And of course, the vast majority will say yes. 
If you can do that, you have to be God. And he will then call on two from the jinn who will appear in the form of your parents. And they will say to you, follow him, my son. Follow him, for he is your Lord. And people will follow. He will appear to give life to the dead. He will chop a man in half. Have him sawn in half, walk between the two halves, turn and call the halves to come and they will come back together and he will come running at him smiling and falling before him. How will we be then? Will we be able to stand firm then at a time like that? <laughs> 